Hello everyone, thank you for joining me. I'm Kerry. Today I'll be showing you how to crochet this plain. The large plane using 8 ply wool is 15 centimetres by 16 and a half centimetres or 6 inches by 6 and a half inches. The smaller plane using 4 ply crochet cotton is 10 centimetres by 11 centimetres or 4 inches by 4 and a quarter inches. I'll be crocheting the larger plane today to make it easier for you to see. I'll be using 8 ply wool which is light worsted in the US and double knit in the UK. I've got red, blue, yellow and green for the plane and white for the teddy bear. I've got a 2.5mm crochet hook, scissors, a darning needle to weave in the ends and sewing thread and a needle to stitch the plane together and to embroider on the features of the teddy bear. Now I'm going to start on the fuselage, this body part of the plane. So using my blue I work 10 chain. For row 1 I miss the first chain and work one single crochet in each stitch to the end. A single crochet is called a double crochet in the UK. For a single crochet you put your hook into the stitch and bring through a loop, yarn around the hook and take your hook with this yarn through the two loops. That's a single crochet. Now we need one single crochet into each of the remaining stitch and we'll have nine stitches. For row 2 we work 1 chain and turn our work. We work 1 single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch and work 2 single crochet into the last stitch. And we'll have 10 stitches. So 1 single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch and 2 single crochet into the last stitch. Row 3 we start with 1 chain and turn our work and we work 1 single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch and work 2 single crochet into the last stitch. So 1 single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch and 2 single crochet into the last stitch.
For row four, we start with one chain and turn. We work one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch and work two single crochet into the last stitch and we'll have 12 stitches. For row 5 we start with 1 chain and turn and we work 1 single crochet into each stitch to the end and we'll have 12 stitches. For row 6 we work 1 chain and turn and we work 1 single crochet into each stitch until we've got 3 stitches. So that will be 1 single crochet into the first 9 stitches. I've worked one single crochet into nine stitches and I've got three left. For row seven we start with one chain, we turn our work and we're going to work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches. A joined single crochet is called a joined double crochet in the UK. For a joined single crochet we put our hook into the first stitch and bring through a loop I hook into the next stitch and bring through a loop, yarn around the hook and take the hook and yarn through our three loops. That's a joined single crochet. And now we work one single crochet in each stitch to the end and we'll have eight stitches. That includes our joined single crochet. For row 8 we start with 1 chain and turn, we work 1 single crochet into each stitch to the last 2 stitches and then we'll work a joined single crochet over the last 2 stitches and we'll have 7 stitches. So 1 single crochet till we get to the last 2 stitches. and work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. For rows 9 to 11 we work one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each stitch to the end and we'll have seven stitches. So rows 9 to 11 
I'm on row 10 now. For row 12 we start with one chain and turn, we work one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch and we work two single crochet into the last stitch and we'll have eight stitches. So one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch and two single crochet into the last stitch. For row 13 we work one chain and turn and we work one single crochet into each stitch to the end and we'll have 8 stitches. For row 14 we start with one chain and turn, we work one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch and work two single crochet into the last stitch and we'll have nine stitches. So one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch and two into the last stitch. For row 15 we start with one chain and turn and we work one single crochet into each stitch to the end. For row 16 we start with one chain and turn, we work one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch and work two single crochet into the last stitch and we'll have 10 stitches. For row 17 we start with one chain and turn and we work one single crochet into each stitch to the end and we'll have 10 stitches.
Now we're going to start the decreasing down towards the tail. So for row 18 we start with one chain and turn. We work one single crochet into each stitch to the last two stitches and work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches and we'll have nine stitches. So one single crochet into each stitch to the last two stitches. And then work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. So pick up a loop in each of the last two stitches, yarn round the hook and take the hook and yarn through the two stitches. For row 19 we start with one chain and turn. We work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches and then one single crochet into each stitch to the end and we'll have eight stitches. A joined single crochet over the first two stitches and one single crochet in each stitch to the end. Row 20 we start with one chain and turn and we work one single crochet into each stitch to the last two stitches and work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches and we'll have seven stitches. For row 21 we start with one chain and turn. We work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches and then one single crochet into each stitch to the end and we'll have six stitches. So a joined single crochet over the first two stitches and one single crochet in each remaining stitch. For row 22 we start with one chain and turn. We work one single crochet into each stitch to the last two stitches and work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches and we'll have five stitches. For row 23 we start with one chain and turn and we work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches and one single crochet into each stitch to the end and we'll have four stitches. I've just got a, a knot in my wool, I'll just get that out. For row 24 we start with one chain and turn and we work one single crochet into each stitch to the end and we'll have four stitches. Now we'll start on the tail of the plane. 
So for row 25, we start with one chain and turn. We work two single crochet into the first stitch and then one single crochet into each stitch to the end and we'll have five stitches. So two single crochet into the first stitch and one single crochet into each stitch to the end. For row 26 we start with one chain and turn. We work one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch and work two single crochet into the last stitch and we'll have six stitches. Now, now we work four chain. For row 27, we miss the first chain and we work one single crochet into each of the three remaining chain. And then one single crochet into each stitch to the end and we'll have nine stitches. For row 28 we start with one chain and turn. We work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches. Then one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch and work two single crochet into the last stitch and we'll have nine stitches. And for row 29 we start with one chain and turn. We work two single crochet into the first stitch. Then one single crochet into each stitch to the last two stitches. And we'll work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. And that's the fuselage finished except for a neatening row. Now before we start our neatening row we'll, we'll work one chain and then we tur turn our work over and we're going to work single crochet around our piece. So up the straight bits we'll work one single crochet into each stitch. Around the bends you'll often need two single crochet just to keep your work nice and flat. Now 
I've worked two single crochet into a couple of stitches there and then just work one or two single crochet into each stitch down the side. Just find a suitable place to put your hook. And in these curves, quite often it's good to do a joined single crochet. I've just done a joined single crochet there. And then one single crochet into the next stitch. And then I'll do another joined single crochet just in this bend here. Now I'll continue around with my neatening row. I'll work right around and then I'll join when I get back to the beginning of the row. So I'll work around there and I'll meet you at the end of the row. Now once we get round to the beginning of the row, we join with a slip stitch in the top of the first stitch. For a slip stitch, we put a hook in through the stitch and bring through a loop and take it straight through the loop on our hook and fasten off. And there's the fuselage done. I'll start on the wing now. Both the wings are uh, crocheted the same. We start with 16 chain. For row one, we work two single crochet in the second chain from the hook. And then one single crochet into each stitch to the end and we'll have 16 stitches. For row two, we start with one chain and turn. We work two single crochet into the first stitch, one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch, and two single crochet into the last stitch. And we'll have 18 stitches. So two single crochet into the first and last stitches, 
and one single crochet into each remaining stitch. For row 3 we start with 1 chain and turn, we work 2 single crochet into the first stitch and then 1 single crochet into each stitch to the end and we'll have 19 stitches. So 2 single crochet into the first stitch and 1 single crochet into each remaining stitch for 19 stitches. For row 4 we start with 1 chain and turn, we work a joined single crochet over the first 2 stitches one single crochet into each stitch to the last 2 stitches and then a joined single crochet over the last 2 stitches and we'll have 17 stitches so join single crochets over the first two and last two stitches and one single crochet into each remaining stitch. I'm working my joined single crochet over the last two stitches now. For row 5 we start with 1 chain and turn and work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches. One single crochet into the next stitch. We work one half double crochet into each of the following two stitches. 
A half double crochet is called a half treble in the UK. For a half double crochet we put our yarn around the hook, hook into the next stitch and bring through a loop, yarn around the hook and take our hook and yarn through all three loops. That's a half double crochet and we need another one in the next stitch. Now we work one double crochet into each of the next three stitches. A double crochet is called a treble in the UK. For a double crochet we put a yarn around the hook, hook into the next stitch and bring through a loop. Yarn around the hook, take our hook and yarn through two loops, yarn around the hook and take our hook and yarn through two loops. And we need another double crochet into each of the next two stitches. Now we're going to work one treble into each stitch until we have four stitches left. A treble is called a double treble in the UK. For a treble we put our yarn around the hook twice, hook into the next stitch and bring through a loop, yarn around the hook and take our hook and yarn through two loops, yarn around the hook, hook and yarn through the next two loops, yarn around the hook and take the hook and yarn through the remaining two loops. So we need a treble into each stitch till we have four stitches left. Now I've got four stitches left. Now I'm going to work a treble cluster over the last four stitches. So I put my yarn around the hook twice, hook into the next stitch and bring through a loop, yarn around the hook, take my hook and yarn through two loops, yarn around the hook, hook and yarn through the next two loops. Now I've got two loops left. I put my yarn around the hook twice, hook into the next stitch and bring through a loop, yarn around the hook and take the hook and yarn through two loops, yarn around the hook, hook and yarn through two loops. I've got three loops on my hook and I continue like that for the next two stitches. Yarn around the hook twice, hook into the next stitch and bring through a loop, yarn around the hook, hook and yarn through two loops, yarn around the hook hook and yarn through the next two loops. I've got four loops on my hook. Yarn around the hook twice and then hook in to my last stitch and bring through a loop. Yarn around the hook, take it through two loops. Yarn around the hook, take the hook and yarn through the next two loops. And then I put my yarn around the hook and take the hook and yarn through all the loops. And that's a cluster. Now we're going to work a neatening row right around the wing. So we start with one chain and we work single crochets around the, the wing. Up the straights we'll just work one single crochet into each stitch but around the curves, particularly around this curve, we'll probably need to work two single crochet into a stitch at, at times.
Now I'll, I'll crochet this tail in, so I'll hold it against my work and crochet over the top of it. So I'll continue work, working my neatening row and I'll meet you at the end of the row. When we get back to the beginning of the row we work a slip stitch into the top of the first stitch and fasten off. And should work the other wing the same. Now for the front of the plane we join our wool into the, the first stitch along this flat part. So this stitch here and work one chain and then work a single crochet into the next stitch, a half double crochet into the following stitch Two double crochet into the next stitch and then we work two treble into each stitch till we've got four stitches left. So I'll need to work two treble into the next two stitches. Then work two double crochet into the next stitch a half double crochet into the following stitch a single crochet into the next stitch and then slip stitch into the next stitch and, and fasten off. Now for the little section to join the propellers on we find our middle stitch and then join the same colour yarn into one stitch back. So this stitch here. And work two chain and then one half double crochet into each of the next two stitches. and fasten off. And that's the front of the plane done. I'll just weave in these ends to make it easier to crochet on the propellers. Now for the first side of the propeller I join my yarn just in the first chain there, just in there and I work six chain I work two double crochet in the third chain from the hook
one half double crochet into each of the next two chain and a single crochet into the last chain and then slip stitch into the top section there, just in there and fasten off. For the second propeller, we just join in the top there and work six chain. We work two double crochet in the third chain from the hook. one half double crochet into each of the next two stitches and a single crochet into your last chain and then slip stitch just in the bottom of that second section of your front and fasten off And that's the propellers done. For the tail flaps, they both work the same. We start with seven chain. And work a slip stitch in the second chain from the hook. single crochet into the next stitch, a half double crochet into the following stitch a double crochet into the next stitch two treble into the following stitch and a double treble in the last stitch. A double treble would be called a triple treble in the UK. For a double treble you'd put your yarn around your hook three times. Hook into the stitch and bring through a loop. Yarn around the hook. Take the hook and yarn through the first two loops. Yarn around the hook. Hook and yarn through two more loops. Yarn around the hook. Hook and yarn through two more loops and yarn around the hook and take it through the remaining two loops. Then you work five chain and slip stitch into your last chain from your original chain just at the bottom of the triple treble or your double treble sorry just in there 
and then for our neatening row we're going to work a slip stitch into each stitch around the sides but not along the bottom. And fasten off. And you'd work the second tail flap the same. Now if you wanted a small teddy to go into the cockpit, you'd make a magic loop. For a magic loop, I just put my hook on my yarn and bring the short end over the hook and take my long end over the short end and bring a loop through my circle and there's a magic loop and then I work two chain and 14 double crochet into my circle We pull the circle tight so we take hold of the tail and just ease the circle in and join with a slip stitch in the top of the first stitch. That stitch there. And that's the head done. We'll start on the first ear. We work one chain and work a single crochet, a half double crochet and a single crochet in the same stitch as the chain. So a single crochet, a half double crochet and a single crochet and then slip stitch into that same stitch and fasten off. And that's the first ear done. Now these two stitches and join our yarn in the third stitch from our first ear and work the second ear the same. So one chain, a single crochet, a half double crochet and a single crochet in the same stitch and then slip stitch into that same stitch and fasten off.
and I'll just pull the circle in tighter when I'm weaving in my ends. And that's the little head. For the muzzle, we make a magic loop and work one chain and six single crochet into the circle. Pull the circle tight and slip stitch in the top of the first stitch. And fasten off. So that's all the crocheting done. I'll just crochet another wing and another tail flap and weave in my ends and I'll be back and we'll put it together. Now here's all my pieces. The first things I'll do is attach the wings. The front wing goes in like that and the back wing goes at the back like that. Now for the back wing I'll just stitch around the edge. I'll leave this open so I can insert the little bear. So I'll stitch the wings on. I'll also embroider on a mouth and nose onto the muzzle. I'll do that and I'll be back. The next things to do are to attach the tail flaps, one on the front and one in behind. And I'll also attach the muzzle to the teddy bear's face towards the bottom but just covering over the centre circle like that. And the last thing I'll do is embroider on the eyes and the ear markings on the teddy bear's face and then I'll be back to show you the finished plane. And there's the bear finished. We just slip it in to the cockpit there and the plane's all finished. If you like my video, please like, subscribe and share. I'm also on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest and Twitter. The details are in the description below, along with the details of my website where I have my patterns and the details of my Facebook group. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.